What's going on, Pokemon Trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle video today. Here we go. Let's enjoy this one. Okay, so this is a passerby battle that I have for you today. Never mind the registration date. It does say 12, 18, 18. It is a little bit late. I apologize. I just never got a chance to finish this one. I had this in my backlog. And finally, this is going to be on the channel. This battle is a very interesting battle because I'm testing out a Minior team. Uh, Minior is pretty awesome as a Pokemon because it uses Shell Smash. And Shell Smash Minior, the thing about it is that you have to plan it accordingly. One mistake and you will never utilize it properly. Pairing up with Minior, I have a specially defensive Meganium, a bulky Tapu Fini, a offensive Marowak Alolan form, and then we also have Registeel and Noivern in the back end there. My opponent, Corbin, he's got a full team of threats. I don't, I can't even think of one Pokemon that would be less threatening, but this team rocks and I like it. I'm going to have fun when I face him. Yeah, I can name a few threats here. I can probably see a Mega Garchomp, if possible. And then, depending on the set that Carcana has, that could also be a huge threat. But everything else, I have answers. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and play this thing. I'm not really sure what Corbin is going to start out with. I go for the, the Meganium here to begin the match, and the reason I like that is because Meganium is pretty bulky in general. It can probably take on anything that Corbin has to offer, and we see Tapu Koko on the first turn. He goes straight for the Hidden Power. I'm not really sure what Hidden Power it is. It is definitely super effective. You know, here I go for the Leech Seed Attack. Well, it's not really an attack. I get to uh, sap away his HP a little bit. I get to recover more HP this way. And if he has Volt Switch, I will definitely see it here. It's not super effective, but he'll get out of there. The effects of Leech Seed are erased. He goes into Carcana. Carcana is very, very scary. I've seen several movesets that are Choice Scarf, Choice Bang. It is basically a threat, a thorn to one side. I go into Tapu Fini. I'm not really sure what Carcana is going to go for. He goes for the X Scissor. It's going to be super effective to Meganium. Had I stayed in. Unfortunately, he has Leaf Blade, and that's going to easily wipe out Tapu Fini. I was not really expecting that, but I should know better than that. Carcana has been using that move ever since it came into play, and I just didn't realize it this entire time. I go into the wall in Marowak, and that is basically checkmate to Carcana. I ended up going for the Will-O-Wisp, and I gotta miss it because of the Misty Surge. That was a little bit of a mishap on my end. I go into my Noivern. Because I can use Hurricane against Keldeo. Keldeo is pretty awesome. I really enjoy Keldeo. And we both miss our attacks. That's pretty epic. Now the Misty Surge is gone. I can finally use Hurricane. It doesn't miss. It actually does hit the opposition. Super effective. One hit KO. Here comes Garchomp. And the way he's playing it, I was figuring it was Twist Scarf or something like that. I didn't want to risk it. It could also be Mega, like I previously mentioned during the analysis. We see a double switch out. Um, back to square zero, square one, whatever you name it. Good news is that I can definitely stay in with my gang in. I do know what it's going to go for. The Tapu Koko is going to go for the hidden power. Unless it's a critical hit, I can definitely survive it. We go for Giga Drain. It's not going to KO, but... At the same time, I can get a lot of HP back in return or in exchange. Nothing wrong with that. And he goes for the full switch yet again. Very similar from the first turn. 
but we just did it in a different order. You go with a Cortana, I knew that was going to be the case, so I go for the synthesis. We can already tell that Corbin is going to be annoyed by this Meganium, but you know what? Meganium is pretty awesome. Cortana is going to go for a few X scissors, and I say a few because look how much that did. I didn't do as much as I was expecting to Meganium. Goes to show that Meganium is pretty bulky. Max HP and Max Special Defense is a little bit of special attack, so that Giga Drain can do some damage. I ended up staying in one more time and going for the synthesis to get a lot of HP back. And now I can finally have a Alolan Marowak come in to battle and resist the exorcism that might be coming my way. However, he predicts this for some reason and goes for the Swords Dance. He does switch out though, so that's good news there for my uh, Marowak. Didn't want to take a X scissor or actually I wouldn't say X scissor, probably something else. But anyway, we do scare about and we actually see Garchomp again. And I wasn't going to risk anything here. If you to go for the Dragon type move, expecting Noivern, and eh, it's hard. It's really hard to tell. I'm going to stay in and let Marowak go down. And holy camoly, we actually survive with. 3 HP to spare, I go for the Will-O-Wisp, and burn Alolan Garchomp. Well, I guess you could say that because we're in the Alolan region, but it's a Mega Garchomp for God's sakes. Oh wow, <laughs> um, I go into Meganium, because why not, right? It's a burnt Garchomp, or Alolan Garchomp, if you want to do it like that, you guys. I mean, honestly, why not, right? Now, this Alolan Garchomp has a few surprises for me. He has Flamethrower. I did not expect that at all, but we actually do survive it. Now, we all know that this battle is all about Minior. We haven't seen it yet, right? Of course we haven't. I feel like this is a great opportunity to do it. What I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to sacrifice a Lolan Marowak. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Marowak, but you did your part, and I'm really grateful for that. But now, this is the prime time for Minior. I mean, what could be better than that? It's a burnt Garchomp, he can either stay in, I can survive a hit, or he can switch out, which he does right here. I can go for the Shell Smash to my heart's content. This is excellent. Here we go. Shell Smash Manior. And like I said, you have to have the right opportunity to use it properly. Yeah, so we have a really strong Manior. We're ready for a Manior shower, guys. So first up, we're going to KO the Tapu Coco. Easily enough, I mean, look at that. That's going to easily finish off Tapu Coco. It doesn't have full HP. doesn't have a Focus Sash. Anything weird like that. We see Cartana, not really a good sight to see. I thought a plus two acrobatics would get the job done, but that is not the case. Um, man, that sucks. Because I was hoping that we would sweep with Minior, sweeping the entire team, but that's not going to happen this battle. However, I am very pleased with the effort. Like, the opportunity for him to set up the Shell Smash and all. I am faster than Cortana. I mean, if I realized that earlier, I probably would have taken out Cortana a lot sooner. Here is a Alolan Garchomp, and I keep saying that. It's actually a Mega Garchomp. I don't know. Eh, it's okay, guys. Uh, my friend is going to finish off this Garchomp, just like that, with a Dragon Pulse. I am faster than it. I think my friend is pretty much going to be my go-to Pokemon at this point in the battle. We see a Jirashi, and I haven't seen it yet in this entire match. I wasn't sure what set it is. Uh, I am going to sacrifice Meganium, which is okay. Going to Registeel for free? I guess that's something, right? If this Jirashi has Fire Punch, I'm going to laugh at it. I'm going to paralyze the Jirashi just in case it's Scarfed. Because Garchomp wasn't Scarfed, it was actually Mega. 
I wanted to see if it was Skunk, but it's actually Lumberry. Good to know. <laughs> um, at this point, I wasn't sure what Jirashi is going to do. It's probably going to switch using U-turn there. Yay, I was correct. And now it's going to Landorus. I forgot all about it, but it's okay, guys. It's now here. I was trying to paralyze the Jirashi, but he ended up switching out, so... Can't really do that to Langris now, can we? Langris, even though it has Earthquake, I am a bulky Regis Steel. Kinda? Eh. I don't know. Oh well. Um, I go for Iron Head, and that sucks because I target the Langris while he's holding the Rocky Helmet. Bad news bears for Regis Steel. Alrighty, so we have Noivern ready for more. He goes for Hurricane and misses. That's a given, because Hurricane is not that accurate. I am very surprised about Langarus right now, because if he has Stone Edge or Rock Slide, I would be able to see it right now. However, he doesn't use it. He's using Defog. Why are you doing this to me? You have the chance to KO Noivern, but that just doesn't cut it. I'm sorry, but I mean, he doesn't have Rock Slide. And I don't know what my opponent's thinking. It's okay, Jirashi is here. Just for Jirashi, we have Wainthor. Noivern's going to use it. It's a two hit KO. Iron Head, eh, not gonna do as much. Wainthor again, and I'm going to win this battle. So, overall, I had fun this battle. I was really happy about what Mineor was able to accomplish during this battle, even though he didn't KO. More than one Pokemon. But I am okay with it. That's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up and share around. And make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more battle videos in the coming days. Have a wonderful start to your week, everyone. And have a great day. Goodbye, tennis.